Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. It's Anonymous T. Hope you're having an amazing day today. So today I wanted to call out some hypocrisy that Letitia Scott and Marceau Scott have been saying and the press have been saying in interviews. Um, they had an interview with um, Crystal XOXO. I'll put in the link in my description box. You guys can check it out. There are a few comments that stood out to me that I find very hypocritical on the Scott's part. One being in particular that they said that the reason that they are able to forgive Martel is because he apologized to them apparently off camera and therefore they're fine to move forward with him. But I think that's nonsense because I think they're accepting his apology because Marceau knows that Martel actually knows their tea and he wants to play nice with them. But what I don't like is how they're coming at Melody, who is not even discussing their marriage at this point, right? And how they keep bringing up that, you know, they felt good about bringing up that B&W jab and all these other jabs and things that they took, not realizing that they're kind of making themselves look just as bad, right? And it just kind of felt fake and forced in the sense that they're trying to do a good job of convincing you guys that their marriage is perfect, their marriage has no issues, and Mel is jealous that, you know, her marriage didn't work out and theirs did, or is still at this point in time. And I just don't, I don't like any of it. It seems like they refuse to forgive Mel but they are saying nothing about the side chick who continues to bash them, who continues to keep their name in her mouth, and they don't have a problem with the side chick calling them out, trying to expose them, but they still have Melody in their mouths, and Melody's not even discussing them. So what is the real issue at hand? Are you jealous that Melody was able to not only leave her marriage, but leave her marriage and make even bigger boss boot moves than what she did compared to when she was married. Because she has her property management classes. She still has her construction license. She has, you know, she's going to dive deeper into the makeup stuff with the lipstick selling well. She has the skincare line. She has the music. She has the acting. She has the public speaking engagement. She also has the hosting and she also has the clothing line. So that's nearly 10 things right off the bat. It, 10 other types of hustles that are all successful for Mel. And people want think that tearing her down is going to make things better. Oh, and I forgot the biggest thing. Being the producer of the show. <laughs> Help bringing the show to Carlos King and showing the receipt that this was Mel's idea of the show. Just in case anybody forgot. Just in case anybody's trying to give any credit to Martel, Mel posted on social media the receipt that this is her brainchild, that this was her idea. And it kind of reminds me how the Scots are acting is how once after a certain point of time on Married to Medicine, that the some of the women were filling themselves they wanted to come for the creator mariah right they wanted to ice her out to the point that she was no longer on the show and then she was off the show and then she came back and then it was the same foolishness again where people didn't really want to vouch for her and certain people you know wanted to set her up to be the scapegoat in things and you know essentially she's off the show again so now she has to sue to make sure she's getting her proper credit for the creator of this show and the producer so it is just it's very weird because it's like i don't understand the hypocrisy that's happening at this point um i don't understand like this attack dog mode against melody when she's not even featuring you guys and the only time that she has mentioned things is in response to somebody asking a specific question about it other than that she's not addressing any of you guys but you guys keep going and going and going and going and going on social media and try to throw all these jabs made fun of her clothing line made fun of all these other things and it's like 
Don't you have two masters? Don't you guys have the cigar lounge? Don't you guys have a wine? Don't you guys have, you know, the Scott Manor that you're trying to build on all that land that's taking, you know, several years now, like Sheree's house did? Like, make it make sense as to why what Mel is doing has you so bothered. And why you feel good about throwing out the B&W jab. But don't understand why Mel would respond. And then they tried to say, oh, well, we have all these receipts that we could spill, but we're choosing not to do that. But instead, you're slandering the creator of the show. You're slandering the producer of the show, but the actual ex-husband of the producer of the show, of the creator of the show, who cheated, who got another woman pregnant, who has disrespected Mel on national television and was nasty to her, was trying to gaslight her, is trying to make her look like she's a bad mother. You guys forgive him and are able to move forward with him. And that is very sus. Because that tells me either you guys made a pact so that way Marceau's secrets never get exposed because you guys likely were cheating together. Or you're really just that jealous of Mel that you are willing to even befriend Martel just to be as spiteful and messy as he's being. And to me, that says a lot more about you and your character than whatever issues exist with Melody. And... For the most part, she's not even discussing you guys, which is why I don't even understand why this is a thing. Literally, tonight's episode, not even discussing you. Discussing the issue regarding Martel and him telling her last minute, even though it was her week with the kids and she was taking the kids to a funeral because a second relative had died, that, you know, as to why the kids were not at the book signing. But this press tour that you guys are doing coming for Mel is very shady, is very messy, and is very unnecessary. And how hard you're going in the paint for Martel and the disgusting behavior that he is displaying has me very suspicious of you. Like, what is going on? What is going on? So those are the thoughts that I have. Why do you guys think that Tisha and Marceau are now covering for Martel Holt? Once again, they forgive his apology. They have no problem with the side chick threatening to air out their dirty laundry. But they are holding Melody to this other standard to where she's doing all of this for TV. She's this problem and blah, 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 blah. We haven't even seen you guys film together yet this season. So what is really going on? What is really the issue here? Because it sounds like there could be bitterness on your part because she's not featuring you. She's not even discussing you. So make it make sense to me as to why you guys are going this hard at Mel. As if she hasn't been through enough. Right? And that's what I mean. And that's why I am sus because it's like the fact that the cast as a whole just really just sat there and let Mel be disrespected and gaslighted like this for the past couple of years by Martel also tells me their character, tells me their moral compass, tells me about their integrity or lack thereof. Because there's no way, even if I'm beefing with somebody, even if we're not on the best of terms as we were before, that I'm just going to sit there and allow a man to talk to, you know, my friend or my former best friend or what have you, any old kind of way and disrespect her and try to make her look crazy on national television, knowing daggone well all of the dirt that he has done, knowing how bad he's dogged her out and played her and cheated on her and, you know, humiliated her on national television. You hate somebody that much that you are willing to be best friends with the person who cheated on her? 
that's 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 a whole nother level of low i'm sorry and are you scared of that mark that much <laughs> that martel has on you are you that scared of him that you have to be friends with him now what tea does he have on you that you're willing to be friends with him and agree to help him bash melody through the press That's the real questions that need to be answered. So hopefully this stops at some point because I'm tired. I am tired of this bash melody nonsense and she's not even talking about you guys. She's not even talking about you guys at all. And you guys are doing interviews. You guys are doing lives. Your siblings who aren't even on the show are throwing jabs. Like when will it stop? Because she's not mentioning you at all. So, I, so what, this is payback from what, season two? <laughs> like, I don't understand. Seriously, I, I don't understand at all. But this is, you know, this whole thing where you're trying to, you know, separate what's real and what's for TV and, you know, what's off camera and this and that. However... On camera, you're still being messy. You're still being disrespectful to the person who invited you to audition for the show, who recommended you as a couple to be on the show. This is the thanks that she gets. And instead of trying to have a sit down, a grown adult conversation to hash out whatever issues may exist, you're just going to go for the jugular and continue to bash her in interviews. What does that say about you? So I'm going to continue to monitor this because it makes no sense to me as to somebody who's not even discussing you, somebody who doesn't even have your name in their mouths, and now you're doing a press run, you're doing lives, you're doing all these things, trying to switch the narrative, trying to play the perfect couple who's not messy, who doesn't do anything, but all it gives me is you guys like to throw your rocks and hide your hands and then pretend to the public to play victim. And just because Mel and Martel are more vocal with their, you know, things that they have to say that they're the bad guys in that particular instance, right? But it can't just be coming out of nowhere. And you even said in the interview that Martel likely told Mel stuff that the guys were doing about their behavior, which is why it filtered out into drama with the girls in the first season. So if that's the case, why aren't you mad at Martel for whatever information he's told Melody? Why are you mad at Melody and you're not mad at Martel, and you're willing to forgive Martel, even though he's spilling your tea to people, and also spilling your tea now to his side chick that she keeps threatening on her Instagram, on her stories, on her posts, and everything else that she's going to tell the world about. Where, where's the logic? Where is the logic at all? What is the smoking gun that Martel has on you guys? That you're willing to befriend him and be friends with him and, you know, put on this facade for social media, put on this facade, film with him on the show and use any opportunity that you have to bash his ex-wife. Who's not even discussing you. Make it make sense because Mel's not the one who's bitter. Mel's not the one who's jealous. Mel is trying to live her life and do her. But this is a whole nother level of low. Like, as far as I'm concerned. So, there's that. Um, let me know your guys' thoughts on this. What do you guys think of what you think of Marceau and Tisha and the nonsense that they are saying in these interviews about Melody Cherie and trying to make her the person at fault when... Really, technically, Martel started all of this. Martel was the one who was exposing all of this. But you guys aren't innocent either. You guys were throwing jabs even at the anniversary party in the beginning episode. So this whole thing where you guys are completely innocent, no. You guys kept throwing little jabs. 
and you enjoyed seeing knocking Mel down a few pegs. But you want to present this image in these interviews that everything is everyone else's fault, not yours. Well, what is there to hide if you're willing to so quickly forgive Martel and continuing to say nothing about his mistress continuing to expose you guys and say things about you guys and call your family cheaters? But Mel is the problem. Mel is the one that's bitter, who's not even saying anything. That's what I mean. That's what I mean what we're dealing with. So those are the thoughts that I have. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about this, about the hypocrisy, about how easy they are able to forgive Martel and still have this hate boner for Mel, but are mute on Martel's mistress still trying to spill their tea. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content in my channel. And with that being said, I will talk to you guys again very soon.